So we are live on my channel, and your channel is going live. It says I'm live. All right, there we go. We are live on both channels. What is up, everybody? We got Greg the Valley Picker, Tim Fisk from the Green Room, and Jesse James Durf from Bristol. And we have the longest haul. The world's biggest haul. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely say it's the world's biggest haul day. Um, I wish I could show you guys, but you'll see everything. I mean, you'll see everything one by one. We're just going to, I guess, go right through it, really. You want to just start with the bags, and then we'll take questions at the end? Yeah, yeah. let's go. All right, so this bag's mine. So I guess we'll just divvy up the bags. This was yours, right? Yeah. And then it was... So I've yours in on channel. Is this yours? Tied up. That's yours? No, oh, that's mine. That's yours. Did you get a keyboard? No, that's mine. Okay, let's see. Here you go. Uh, All right. See, we got a lot of stuff, guys. Yeah, we were we went to about ten different thrift stores today. Find out. Let's see. Let's find out. Right, so I'll just go first since mine's open. And I don't have that many things in here. First thing we got is this game right here. I think this was is that red, white, and blue. I believe. Yeah. So the allowance game paid four bucks. It was going for around I think twenty-five to thirty bucks. So that's a pretty solid time. Rank isn't the best, but, you know, Christmas coming up, so who cares? And the Ravensburger puzzle, I always look these Ravensburger puzzles up, especially when they're sealed. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't even deal with used ones at all. You wouldn't want to count the pieces. But not too bad. I paid $3. It was going for um, more than that. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. All right, well, uh, we went to a Goodwill. We went to a couple of Goodwills today, and I found two Eaton Slim. Uh, if you guys ever see this brand... This is called Eat Slim. Both same size. I'm going to lock them two together. But they're really nice. Nice little pattern. And uh, they should do well. I only paid about $4.99 for each of them. And I'm going to lot them up for, hope, hope to get about 50 or more for, for the two of them. That's nice, dude. I honestly yeah. didn't even know that you got you. No? I didn't. I had no idea. No. Was that one of the last ones I went to? What? Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. I didn't see that one either. I saw this one. Oh, I, I saw a Stussy. A lot of people talk about that. See that brand? Yeah. Stussy. I think it's a 90s skateboard. Maybe you're going to have to get real close to show them the brand. Now right. because that's on both. Yeah. Oh, on the, br on the brand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we so go. Brand is Stussy. I've never picked up and I've never sold this shirt or this brand before. Um, but it should do pretty well. Like I guess I only paid $4.99. And last one in this bag, uh, Peter Millar, new with tags. This is the St. Jude's Hospital. Uh, logo on the pocket. That's interesting. Yeah. You think that'll do well with this? Well, it's brand new, so. I think it'll do all right, yeah, because it is new with tags, right? Well, what would you list something like that for? Uh, I'm going to shoot for 32 to 35. Okay. Even even with the new, because it says St. Jude's on the front? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Me, personally, I think I would list 40, but I'm all, I'm also crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know. love your Peter Millar. And I love my Peter Millar. Yeah, That's true. And just a new with tags Pokemon shirt. Got this up, got this, uh, picked this up for a dollar. And if I get anything over 14, I'll be happy with that. Oh, yeah. Quick the, quick the list. Oh, yeah, not bad. Yeah. And then that's it? Okay. Yep. Here we go. So in this bag, I got a Microsoft, if I can get it out, a Microsoft ergonomic keyboard. Uh, paid three bucks for it. I don't remember. Oh, I just realized. Well, oh. I it broke that's all right. right. You got to put on. Um, what was it going for? I can't remember. Oh. I want to say it was about 30 bucks on, uh, on Amazon. I got... Oh, oh, we got an Izod, the vintage Izod Lacoste sweater. I like that with the blue alligator. Yeah, blue alligator. Definitely vintage. Oh, yeah. uh, paint sweater pricing, which is... Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. Pearl Izumi cycling, cycling jacket, jersey. It's almost identical to the one that you passed up on at the end of the day. This, also, one, this one was thicker. Oh, okay. Thicker, fleece lined, winter, and this is an extra large. That was a medium. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, this is a made, made, in, made in Hawaii. Uh, it's got uh, ukuleles on it. <laughs> That's cool. Um, it's unique. And a Metallica concert T-shirt from uh, 04. 
Cosmic t-shirts do pretty well. I've actually, I've never sold one, but I always see people selling them. Have, have you sold them before? I have never sold them. No? Okay. I always see people selling them, so I picked it up. It was, um, yeah. uh, four bucks. Four bucks. Yeah. And then the last one is a, uh, Louis Garneau Army Triathlon Cycling Jersey. That's nice. That's going to go for some good money. That looks nice. No, that's it. That's it. Cool. All right. And then, let's see. This one's my bag. We'll uh, try and jiggy up some of the other bags in a second. So I got a board game. Well, it's kind of like a, a toy game called Hyper Jump. And of course, anything that's new and sealed, anything brand new, really, you gotta just scan. You gotta look it up. Paid three bucks for this. Uh, I think it was going for around twenty-five. A lot of times, you'll find that the board games will go for about twenty-five bucks, which is pretty average, which I'm okay with. Uh, I also picked up a Logitech Dual Action controller. This had a really good rank. It was like a thousand in PC, so that's pretty sweet. I paid. $3 for this. This I think I was only going to get about 10 to 12 bucks after fees, but I'm still happy with that because of the good rank. And then the score at a Goodwill was this ATI T's flashcard study, which, jealous. yeah, he was, he was very jealous because, first of all, I never really scanned books. This isn't really a book. It just looked like paper, but I just decided to scan it. School's in session. Flashcards, of course, are going to be higher in price. What was this called for? 65 bucks? Yeah. And I paid three dollars. So and I had a pretty good like four hundred thousand really books. Like I, I turned around, Jesse was, was gone. Great. Jesse came back. He had <laughs> that. Was I got. It was just sitting on the shelf, and it, I honestly just thought it was paper. But yeah. I just saw the huge barcode, so I just scanned it real quick, and sixty bucks. So always scan stuff, even if it doesn't look like it's worth anything. This doesn't really look like it's worth anything. Not sixty. No. It looks like maybe fifteen, twenty, <laughs> but yeah, sixty bucks. It's pretty great. awesome. Really good. Score. Oh wait, there's one more thing in here. Also, oh, I remember this. I picked up a Panasonic CD player, uh, model number SLSX469V. I believe this on Amazon, which I don't know if I would sell it on Amazon. This is more of an eBay thing for me. But on Amazon, I think it was going for $22. Without the earbuds? Um, the picture did show earbuds, so that's why I would probably do eBay. Yeah. Um, on eBay, I bet you 15 bucks all day. Maybe even $19.99 if you just include some cheap dollar store earbuds, which is what I like to include with my um, CD players. And that's it. That's it for that bag. That's all your stuff. That's all my stuff? Yeah, that's all my stuff. Okay. All right. Next up, we got some uh, muck, like mud boots, winter boots, just waterproof boots. A little dirty, dirty got to be cleaned up. They muck love? No, just muck boot company. Paid uh, 15 bucks for those. Not exactly sure what I'm going to get for those. Pretty nice. Heavy They're in pretty good condition other than being dirty. What size are they? They're size 15. They're huge. Yeah. They're absolutely huge. Now, do you think that having a size 15, you'd be able to ask more, or do you think it would actually hurt you in the long run? It'll take longer to sell to find that one person with the size 15 foot, but you could probably ask more for them. Yeah. Uh, then I got this leapfrog. Uh, I don't even know what it is, but it was uh, five ninety-five, and on Amazon I think it was uh, like thirty bucks. Wow, that's that's nice. Leapfrog's pretty good. I like this one stuff. And then this has to be tested. But this is a Bose uh, 30-pin iPod dock. Got it for 25 bucks, and I just sold a black one with the remote for about 100 bucks on uh, on Amazon. So that was a good find. Hopefully it works. But even even if it doesn't, the um, the AC adapter itself will go for 25 bucks. I'm gonna make all your money back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then uh, just a uh, a Seagate um, SD card. Yeah, reader. SD yeah. card reader. Paid uh, three bucks. I think they go for about twenty-five bucks a piece. Nice. Yeah, those are some good pickups. Yeah. I like those. All right. Uh, let's let's find one of Greg's bags. Just grab one and we'll see. Oh, is that yours? Yeah. yeah. I remember this one. I paid uh, six dollars for it. It was on one of those fresh carts. These guys were doing clothing or something. I just happened to be in the back. Brand new cart. Yeah. The rack came out. I'm gonna. I paid six dollars plus tax to make. Six dollars profit. It's just a uh, head up, heads up party game. Really, really good rank, right? Yeah, really like seventeen thousand or something. Yeah, it's gonna sell pretty much instantly. Yep. And uh, just a tape gun. Gonna use that for my eBay business. And 
And that's it from that one. So, all right. Let's see what do we got in here. All right, I know I picked this up. This I paid ten bucks for. I'm only gonna make ten bucks after a piece. But it's totally worth it. This is a extreme 3D joystick. If it works, um, this is ranked number one in PC. So this, I, I don't know why it's ranked so good. It's got to be a subcategory. There's it's no probably way. a subcategory. Yeah. yeah. But it had a lot of reviews. It has hundreds of reviews. So you open it to make sure that it's the right one. Is on I actually <laughs> I just thought about that. I, I did glance in there, and it looks uh, yeah. That's a okay. One. So it's in there. It looks good. I mean, I. I actually didn't really look over it that well. I just kind of sold it. anything like that before. Never. No. I've never. I've sold. I've sold two things. two joysticks similar to that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, my, uh, Microsoft for over a okay. hundred bucks. Yeah. So I, I'm not too worried about this going for exactly what I want it to go for. I mean, it'll it'll sell instantly. And I'll make ten bucks, so I'll, I'll double my money, and I'm happy about that. And while I have this right here, this is guys definitely a bolo right here. This is an Apple iPod speaker, and it just looks like a big white brick, right? This guy right here, I paid 50 bucks for it. It has the power cord in the back. It uses this special power cord, so if it doesn't come with one, uh, you're going to have to find one online. It uses this little adapter on there, and uh, that's all you need. Let's just make sure it looks good. Oh, yeah, dude, check out the speaker face. That's good. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so that's clean. This guy right here is going on Amazon for $218. Amazon Prime. Uh, over on eBay, you can probably get about $120 plus $30-ish shipping, so you will make some good money over there as well. So not not too bad, actually. I'm pretty happy about that, and so is freaking out. that I never would have picked up, but I'm glad I saw you pick it up for the next time I see something like that. I'll definitely oh, yeah. It's funny, too, because we were just talking about that speaker <laughs> in the store just before this one, and then he yeah. finds one. Which is ridiculous. I, I couldn't believe I found one of these. I've only ever found one once, and it was about three years ago. And then I happen to find one again minutes after we were talking yeah. about it. That's just, that is exactly how it happens. So are we showing off our RI today? Clothing? Did one. we want to? It's up to you. Right. I don't yeah. need to show it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got a three-pack of HP ink. And uh, this was expired, but it wasn't expired for long. It just expired uh, last year. I didn't even see you get that. Uh, red, awesome. white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I paid seven ninety five for it. And expired like that, it should still sell for about 35 So that's not bad. And that'll, that'll uh, ship right in a, uh, either a padded envelope or... How light is it? It's really light. First class. Probably. Oh, dude, yeah, that's first yeah. class. Yeah. That's probably like 12 ounces. Yeah. Maybe 13. Right. Maybe 13. Light, light enough, right? That's light enough, All yeah. Right. So that'll ship really, really cheap. Uh, this was a Dragonfly. I'm going to show you this brand. Dragonfly Pearl Snap shirt. This brand does well. And, um, yeah, usually it's, like, a lot of bands are associated with this brand. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, other, other bands and stuff that's like that. That's shiny. Yeah. And it's Pearl Snap, too, so that's what struck me on this good selling good selling point. Uh, nice little size, size extra large. Mm -hmm. And I think I'll get at least 35 for it. But I did, I did pay up for it. I paid $10 for it. It, was, it is really nice. You're right. A lot of accents. Yeah, uh, shit, I like that. Yeah. What, what do they call it? Like, tinsel, right? <laughs> like a Chris on a cruise. Yeah, like I guess yeah, like that. Yep. I, I love this shirt. I mean, it's Tommy a shame Bahama. the brand's uh, gone down a little bit, but. Yeah, Tommy Bahama, it is a bigger size, extra large. Just a nice little pattern on that shirt. Uh, paid five ninety five for it. Jesse actually brought it over to my car. He didn't do, he didn't, he didn't do much clothing today. I picked he up clothing the at the last store, and that was it. Yeah. I kept finding stuff for these guys. Yep. 100% silk, so, because it is fun going through the racks. Yeah. Even if you're not buying exactly. stuff for yourself. But, um, I'm going to have to let Finn and lock her in the other room real quick. Okay. But you guys keep talking. All right. Um, this was a John W. Nordstrom Laurel Piana uh, Camel Hair Sport Coat. This should do well in about a month or two. And here comes the pup. All right. Make an appearance. Full on pup. Watch out, baby. This way. Yeah, Laurel Piana definitely helps the resale value. And I paid 25% of $9.95, which is about $7.50. And this last one, actually I got one more. This is a Columbia, just a short, yeah, nice little pattern on it. Uh, it has to do with fishing, a lot of fishing items in there. Short sleeve, and I went to the $1.95 for it. I'm going to shoot for 17 to 19 and I might even get closer to 25 on that. 
I don't remember what this one was. Uh, it looks like just like a new with tag shirt. I only paid a dollar ninety five for it, and it's a looks like a what is that Euro two thousand sixteen France uh, soccer shirt. Maybe a soccer shirt. Yeah, it's not FIFA, is it? But, no soccer. Yeah. Okay. Soccer. Yeah. UEFA. I'm yeah. back, guys. Let's right. see what I'm gonna read some of the comments while you guys. Uh, yeah. Who's in the chat? Oh, wow, really? Not that many comments. Sorry, right, though. Is that it? Yeah, it's okay. All right, next we have these Tiva sandals, which we got, uh, what were they, two bucks. Yeah, yeah two bucks. They, they look brand new. I, I don't know how much I'm going to get for them, but and, and I might have to hold on to them until summer, but that's all right. They're small. small. They're light. Small little thrift shop. Sweetest old ladies. Yeah, they were very sweet. Uh, this is a long sleeve. Put Joy Polo stripe. I think nice. Stretchy. Is it polyester? It is nice. Uh, probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. With the uh, with the Foot Joy logo on the back. Uh, long sleeve. This is, what is that? a oh, yeah. Foot Joy uh, golf vest, like a windbreaker type of type of vest. I always see caddies wearing that. Okay. I feel like caddies always wear that kind of. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it not. was it was Foot Joy and it was a short sleeve shirt pricing, so it was yeah. uh, four bucks. Or like a sweater, or something. golf sweater. Probably. Uh, same thing, but in uh, in red. Are you gonna lock those up or not? Uh, no, I'm probably gonna do it individual. Yeah. Uh, this is just your uh, basic Nike, Nike golf polo. But it was it was four bucks. Yeah, now that and it's a big size. What was that two X? No, how many? No, uh, no two X. Yeah, yeah, two X. That, that's good. There you go. And then this is a uh, Star Fox oh, T-shirt from uh, zero from the Ooh. Nintendo New York store for two bucks. What's <laughs> 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 that? And that was only two bucks. Dude, I did not even see that. That is nice. And then a, uh, a selfie selfie board game for five bucks. Uh, it was ten dollars after fee, so I'll double double my money on that. Go ahead, uh, Michael. All right, so I think that's I don't know. Let's, let's not think these are all mine. Yeah, those are all yours. Yeah, okay, so right I'll just go through some of these little bags right here. Right here for three dollars, I got a Mr. Coffee Pot, brand new. And this guy was surprisingly going for like $14. So I'm going to make, I forgot what it was, $6 after fees. So that's cool. I also, whenever I see them, I like to pick up Polaroids. Paid 6 bucks for this. Uh, I think I picked up another one today for $8. How many which total is push on my limit? limit? Two. two or three? Just two? I think you picked up. I think I might pick up three. Uh, I only remember two, so we'll see. And this one's good. This, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Because this isn't, I picked up three, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah. So. I was, yeah. So six bucks, not to be the shit off for thirty. And then, what else do we have in here? That's empty. And we have a little guy right here. Oh yeah, I picked up two video games at Savers. I got Call of Duty Black Ops Two and Fable Two. This is the only valuable Fable game. Fable One and Fable Three aren't worth anything, but Fable Two is worth a little bit. So I paid three bucks a piece. Uh, Black Ops is going for about fifteen dollars, and Fable Two is going for about ten. So, hey. Can you <laughs> <laughs> Soph really wants to come in here, but she will make a mess. All right. All right. Nat Nash short sleeve shirt. This savers was way, way mm -hmm. overpriced. Honestly, yeah, overpriced. everything was like eleven to fifteen dollars. But uh, we were able to find a Nat Nast extra large short sleeve shirt. Nice pattern on it. Mm -hmm. uh, for seven dollars. This was a dead stock, just older. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna shoot for. Uh, Probably about 30 bucks on this dead stock. It's good. The brand is called Miller Western Wear. Pearl Snap. I think it's cool looking. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. it's kind of vintage. I'm just gonna take a take a chance on that one. And I paid uh, what was it, 849 849 on that. And this uh, logo Athletic. And yeah, that's, Smith that's nice. Yeah. Um, the one thing in the in the whole savers. <laughs> no, was, uh, one of one of the uh, only things in the whole savers that was priced. Uh, cheaply. Yeah. Paid a dollar ninety nine for it, and uh, 
I'll shoot for about 24 or more, between 24 and 29 on that. But the numbers are really nice, so I'm happy with that. Happy with that pickup. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a really good pickup. In this bag, we got all tied together here. Uh, another uh, Nike Golf Polo. Mossberg. Oh, that's right. This was uh, Mossberg, which is a uh, it's a shotgun shotgun brand. See, that's good that you knew that because I wouldn't have known that when we're picking it up, and I would just think oh, it's a company. Right, right, right. Say. And and these uh, these Nike Golf shirts, they're the they're the dry fit ones, so they're the stretchy types. Uh, we got another Nike uh, Nike Golf Mossberg. Mossberg, yeah, another Mossberg. Yeah. Uh, this was a champion. Jeez, so, just, Still. A, just a champion crew neck uh, uh, sweatshirt. I remember when you were iffy on that because it's six dollars for a sweater, but it was actually half off. Too. Right, it was half bucks. off, so it was only three bucks. Yeah, that's not bad yeah. at all. And it was, it's a, it's a. Oh, I guess it's a, it, it's an extra large, so it's not that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. And it's got the, it's got the champion logo right and on the in red, uh, white, and blue, which is good. Oh yeah. And then we have, uh, this was the Valley Pickers uh, choice for me, uh, Jack, what is it, Jack Nicholas? Yeah. Jack Nicholas. The golden oh, the golden guy, right? the, golden, yeah. the golden bear on the uh, on the chest right there. Really, that, that's a good brand name. Yeah. I've never I seen sold, When I was new with every selling, I, I was selling those pretty frequently. Yeah? Yeah. I, I've never I've never tried. I didn't yeah. even look it up. This is off the Valley Pickers. <laughs> it's a pull. So, so if I lose money, it's his fault. <laughs> And then this is just another Nike Golf uh, Mossberg polo. Nice, yeah. And that's it, and that's it. All right. Um, speaking of recommendations, uh, these guys know a lot more about this kind of stuff than I do. This was a solid pickup. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the case at the good, at the first Goodwill, actually, there was just a just a bundle of uh, PSP handheld console yep. and just a lot of six PSP games. Ooh. Nothing fancy, right? Yeah, look, we got MLB 2K9, which isn't worth anything. Toy Story 3, which is worth a little bit. MLB 07, The Show, Cycle Fritz, Sonic Rivals 2. Um, that's all right. I'll, and NBA 07. So a few sports titles mixed in with a few good games. You PSP can, was going to pop a new other. The PSP, bucks. you're going to, you're yeah, you're already going to make 40 bucks alone on the PSP, and then all this is extra on top of that. You're probably going to end up making 60 bucks. Yeah. Eh, I only paid 50, 20 bucks. 50 bucks. Yeah. You're going to spend 20 make 50, good. yeah. That's worth it. Yep. You and might then, even make a little more than 50, honestly. When Christmas is coming up, I, right. I feel that's like the PSP is going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. going to be good. Yep. And um, that's just something I, I wouldn't have 100% known about, but since I had these guys at my you know, left hand or whatever, uh, I definitely took advantage of that. This is a brand not a lot of resellers talk about. Uh, Jack Wills. This is just a nice pattern. And just like the t-shirt. It was half off today. Green tag. Pay two bucks for it, should get you know nineteen to twenty on that, and a nice uh, I always mess this brand up, Jane Barnes, nice pattern on it. It is woven in Japan, so that's a selling pattern on that, and uh, so we're doing all right here. That's what I got for that bag. Very cool, very cool. All right, so let's hop on over. What we got in here? Oh, right in here uh, for ten bucks. I picked up a Lego set, Lego Friends. I'm only going to make 10 after fees, but really good rank. Legos sell fast, so I figured, hey, spend 10 to make 10. No problemo there. Um, in this bag, we got a Ravensburger puzzle again. What was I just telling you guys? Pick these things up. This is Ed Hardy, actually, which is kind of funny. Uh, $4, had an extremely high rank, like 680000 But I picked it up because, you know, quarter four, and I'm going to make like 20 bucks after fees, so why not? No FBA sellers. Oh yeah, there was no FBA sellers also, so I think that it's gonna sell a lot faster now that I'm an FBA seller on the listing. Picked up a 50 cent trick or treat candy holder because that's awesome. Oh, why did I say a dollar? Did he charge me a dollar? Because they, the big bin said 50 cents. If I got charged a dollar, I'm going. I'm going back. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah, this was the other Polaroid. Yeah, I got three Polaroids today. This is an interesting Polaroid. This is called the Polaroid Impulse AF. Look how interesting this thing looks. It is different. And, and this thing's weird. 
And uh, six bucks seems to be going for around 30, like most Polaroids do, so I'm happy about that. And then just like spur of the moment, I felt like buying something different. We have a, this is a golf head cover, and I just dropped a little, oh no I didn't. It's for the 2004 US Open Shinnecock Hills. Pretty cool, pretty different. Uh, the putter heads go for about 30 bucks, so that should go for about the same. And oh yeah, these are little pieces that came with it, so pretty cool. Uh, yeah. All right. We just have uh, a couple uh, a couple DVDs. I I am uh, able to sell most DVDs on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, Starship Troopers three. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario Brothers Mario's Movie Madness. Uh, the Running Man and this Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Was actually going for fifty dollars brand new on Amazon <laughs> what? with like a sixty thousand rank. Yeah, and these are all brand new. Dude, that's insane. Um, what would it go for over on eBay? I don't know. Because think about it, if it's going for like ten over on eBay, you just start buying them and sending them right into Amazon. This was a, uh, a brand new with tags Hurley shirt. I make even for myself, or I may sell it. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was pretty cool. Uh, this Jesse actually found for me. Uh, Huck, it's a uh, fishing shirt, brandy with tags. Yeah, really, really cool brand, guys. Definitely, nobody talks about that brand. Huck, H U K. It's a good brand. Uh, this is a uh, marmot, very, very soft mm -hmm. marmot uh, uh, flannel. I know you gotta stay over there, though. I'm sorry. Triscoll's so favorite, favorite, favorite brand here. Yeah, Peter Millar, uh, Summer Comfort. But in all in white, and it's very very clean, which is very hard to find. Yes. I honestly feel like white Peter Moore, white anything sells for more online because less people have it. So we stay because it's always staying. Yeah. yeah. And then this I was up in the air about, but I decided to buy it just because I've only found it once more. It's a uh, Vineyard Vines, <laughs> but it's a slim fit too. Slim fit uh, Tucker shirt. It was ten bucks, which is why I was. Uh, on the fence about it, but we'll see what what happens with it. Yeah, we think it'll sell for between thirty and thirty-five within a within two. Weeks. I, I really don't see it taking much longer than that. It's a large too, so it's a good size. Yeah, it should be good. Right. Plato's Closet, not a lot of Plato's Closet in my area, but when I come to Connecticut, there's just like a couple of them. Anyways, yeah. in my travels, I was able to pick up. I think Jesse found this one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse was like, hey, what do you think about this one? I was like, uh, let's do this. You know, Victoria Knox Double XL. It is an Explorer jacket. And I paid $35 for it at Plato's Closet. I think I should be able to get at least $110. i am going to put it up for a best offer at $179. Take a best offer of anything over $110. Uh, so that should sell well, I'd say, in a month or two. Or two. Whenever, yeah. when everyone's looking for winter jackets. I definitely think so. It's really nice. I mean, I like how it's padded on the inside. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that'll be good. Hide away hood also. Yeah. Is yours? Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Don't worry about it. All right. We did a little uh, retail arbitrage. We, yeah, Tim and I each got a pair of uh, cinch jeans. For seven dollars a piece. Is that yours? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, seven dollars. That should go for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up for forty-five. That one is best mine. Right. That one is mine. Whoa, this one's yours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You get two pairs of cinch. No, no, the other one. All right, I'll, I'll just... Here, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Can't mix up, mix up the bags. So there's that pair of jeans I was talking about. I also got two Arcteryx shirts. These are both women's, but they're both uh, medium, a women's medium. And I think they were going for about 45 on eBay. Yeah, that, that's good. Yeah. Another another Arcteryx item. This is a men's medium. And I paid $14 for it. This is brand new with tags, that as, as were these. This one was a sample. I forgot about that. I don't think the sample will matter. They, they, they didn't have any flaws that we could see. Yeah, it's, it's not, not going to take away from the resale value. It might even increase it. I believe. 
Well, yeah, yeah, right. I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah. And uh, I don't remember what this room was going for, but brand new Octarius, you can't go wrong. Yeah, dude, that's you know, 30 plus, no matter what. Yeah, exactly. No matter what. I mean, I'd shoot for 40 to 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. 65. 65, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah why not, right? Yeah. Throw it up for 69.99. That's not for. <laughs> just throw it up for 90. I mean, yeah. let's see what happens. Uh, this wasn't Pro Snap, but it just had the buttons on the on the uh, on the button. Yeah. Yep. Sounds, Sounds good. Everything. Got everything. Yep. That's everything on that bag. Since we're still on the same topic from the same store, I got these giant uh, Carhartt flame-resistant jeans. Dude, those things are massive. I didn't realize how big they were. What size what? are they? They are a Oh, dude. Uh, That's why they were 5828. <laughs> there we go. 5828. That's short, man. Those are the biggest ones you've ever. Uh, I've never seen a pair of jeans these big. Probably. Probably. But they're Jeez. but they're the flame resistant. <laughs> no, and they were only big. they were only six dollars and fifty cents. Can't go. No <laughs> freaking. Clue. How long do you think that's gonna take to sell? I don't know. <laughs> It'll, they'll sell. <laughs> they probably say. will sell. <laughs> Just like those big boots. Yeah. yeah. They're it's going with the same guy. <laughs> These are from the same brand that uh, Valley Picker here was just talking about, Arteryx boxers, but they're brand new, and they were only six fifty. Surprisingly Damn. enough, these were actually going for like thirty yep. dollars. Dude, this thing's <laughs> crazy. Um, That's a good brand. It's it's a solid. Yeah. It's hard to find. Very high it's end. Very hard to find though. And then the last thing was this flame resistant Carhartt shirt. Again, a giant size, a three X tall. And this one was only uh, eight dollars. Yeah, eight bucks. It's brand new. What do you think this gonna go for? Forty? I didn't even check to be honest with you. I don't know. Probably, really probably, probably thirty to forty bucks. Yeah. That's good. All right, cool. Um, this bag right here is yours. We'll pop that over there, and I will show off this lovely bag. This lovely bag right here, we have a Lego. Pyramid game, and I paid 25 bucks for this. I'm only gonna make about 25 after fees, but it has a really good rank. So hey, spend 25, make 25. I'm happy. I'll actually make a little less, more like 20. That's fine, you guys. I have heard about these, and I've actually, I think I sold these once, not this exact one, but this is, this was a game that was around a while ago, made by Radica. It's called Cube World. And you would connect these cubes. I remember all the commercials for it. And you connect them, and they all, like, talk to each other. And they can jump from cube to cube. Very sought after for some reason. I paid 6 bucks. These were going for around $89, which is just nuts. Used, you can still sell them on Amazon for between $50 and $60. So these things are just ridiculously expensive. And I love when I find them. And then here's the other Polaroid I picked up. This one is, I paid 8 bucks for it, which is really pushing the limit. Um, but it's a one step express should sell pretty quick for $30. I shipped them in a padded flat rate envelope. Um, that's just so right? Yeah, I sold one this morning. Yeah, when for I came bucks. in his house today, he was packaging one up and he showed me how he packages up. Yep. Pretty much right when I list them, I, I, they sell pretty quick and I stick them in three padded flat rate envelopes. I just triple it. I stick it in one, close it up, stick it in another, close it up, stick it in one more, close it up. And you could throw this thing down the stairs and it'll be fine. And it ships for six fifty. So. That's why I like to spend six, ship it for six fifty. I'm in the whole twelve fifty. Sells for thirty. After fees, I usually make around fifteen bucks. Uh, with the eight dollars, I'm making closer to thirteen dollars. But that's still, it's a quick flip, so I don't mind. Um, and then in the rest of the bag, we also have a Wilton cake pan. A lot of people are restricted in this now. Uh, I'm not. Knock on wood. Uh, wherever. And and then. Uh, it's Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is great. Two bucks going for 18. We also have a board game. Just scan every board game you see, guys. This honestly, I didn't think this was gonna be worth anything. So it looked like crap. Uh, it originally was sold at Bradley's and got clearance down to six bucks. I paid two bucks, and this was going for like 35, 40 dollars. So that was pretty awesome. And that's all that's in there. So it is Tim's turn. Oh, uh, it's Greg's turn. All right. Um, I, this was the blind buy, probably a bad buy. I paid two dollars for it. Just fine by me. I'll take a risk like that any day of the week. Um, yeah, like I said, it wasn't going for much. It was a uh, Microsoft software. However, at that same thrift store, I picked up this uh, Bob. Now it's ranked like four in electronics, and I'm not sure if it's a subcategory or if it's actually four in electronics. But what it does, it allows you to 
uh, monitor your kids when they're watching TV. You plug it in, and I think it's a password type thing or whatever. But it actually, uh, I got it for two dollars, and it actually sells on Amazon consistently, uh, right around seventy dollars. Uh, so I should do well. And I just sold one, right around sixty-five. So I, I have no doubt that's going to sell pretty quickly. So be on the lookout for it. I'll show you viewers and show my yeah. viewers, uh, Bob. <laughs> So that's and you said good. there's also a Bob 2? I think? thought there was. I looked after I told oh, you no, that. No. And it could be. And I'm not 100% sure. I, didn't, I wasn't able to. And it's funny because we egged him on to buy that Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're like, yes, dude, it's, it's $2 or a dollar or whatever. You have to buy it. It's a Flight Simulator game. Turned out, um, probably that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Go in the trash. All right. Next up, we have this. Uh, this was actually for myself, but... Should I decide to sell it? It's an Alpine Star, which is a, uh, it's got that A logo on it. It's a, it's a motorcycle riding brand that actually sells pretty decently. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a pretty high end brand for motocross. And then this is, uh, just some Harley mugs, which I also bought for myself. But to resell, ooh, baby, uh, Jesse found, actually found me this. Peter Millar. Uh, button up, and what you say was Nano Lux. Nano Lux, which is the good kind. That's what you want. You want you want the long sleeve button ups to be Nano Lux. Uh, then we have, I think this was a store we found a bunch of. Oh, oh maybe, maybe not. Uh, we got some Foot Joy, some more Foot Joy polos with the logo on the back. Yep. That was half price. That was only two bucks. That's a good yeah. price. Yeah. Uh, Another Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, yeah. And Summer Comfort's probably the best kind of Peter Millar you can pick up, I think. I think so. I, in, yeah. yeah, right. In almost any any golf polo, any of the ones that that, that stretch for for Nike's dry fit for Peter Millar, it's Summer Comfort, uh, Foot Joy. I think most of them. Are, I think they're all like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was just a uh, an Under Armour polo for. Seven ninety nine half price, oh, so four bucks. It says Buick on the sleeve. That's pretty oh, yeah, old. yeah, That's it does. Really it nice. says it says Buick right right on the sleeve. I I think that'll help it. Yeah. So someone going to the company pick. pick yes. Up. Yep. Or they just bought a Buick and they need to wear something. Yeah. Uh, this was a another Foot Joy, uh, Dry Joys. That's nice. Um, it's like a it's like a rain jacket type of material. Short what? sleeve. What did she charge you? She charged me short sleeve pricing, so it was four bucks. That's and you this, think you were gonna pay for it? I thought I was either gonna pay six or ten. Or ten right? Yeah, yeah. So it was in ten. the ten dollars section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But charge for four. And then last in here is uh, this was kind of a, a blind buy. I don't know how it's gonna do. It's an Adidas Climacool. Uh, it's got the the zip the zip polo, I guess you could call it. And this was also uh, eight bucks half off, so it was four dollars. Uh, yeah, Jesse, go ahead. Right. In here, I picked up a bead gallery for Amazon. And just something sealed, you know, a dollar. I think I'll make about five to ten. And a game which used to go from the 30, 30 plus dollar range. This is the Vinci's Challenge. It's all the way down to about seventeen ninety nine. I only spent four bucks, so I'll, I'll, you know, I'll double my money. I'll make four to four to six dollars. So that's pretty cool there. Also, I want to share a little story. While, we're, while we were out at the store, we were buying some things, and I noticed this guy decked out because we were just saying how, oh, yeah, wear Buick in your Buick car to your Buick company picnic. There was this dude in all North Face gear. He was wearing, I don't know if you guys saw him, at red, white, and blue. He no. was wearing a North Face sweater, a North Face hat, North Face shorts. He had a fanny pack on that said the North Face, <laughs> and he had too. North Face hiking boots on. Oh, I was like, dude, this guy is decked up. The fanny pack is what got me. I was like, dude. <laughs> and he's like pulling out his money and stuff. And his <laughs> fanny pack. And it, it's, money. his money's in North Face. He had written out in a <laughs> No, but this guy was decked out in North Face stuff. It was, it was kind of cool. I'm sure he was looking for North Face. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, that's all this guy buys. It's all he wears. This, I don't think his socks are North Face, though. There's one yeah. socks. Oh, I was looking. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's weird. Um, and then this bag right here, which is just a single thing. I pick these up whenever I see them uh, for a decent price. These are just little CD cases. So, yeah, chill. Uh, there's 50 in here. I spent $6 on it, which is pennies per uh, case. 
And this is why I ship my disc only video games in whenever I find little That's cases. Easy, yeah. Um, because, you know, I find disc only all the time, and it would be nice if you could have, you know, spare Xbox cases, but they're huge, they're bulky, they weigh more. These weigh almost nothing, and you can store so many of them in a drawer, so that's how I ship all my loose disc things. I already have, like, a hundred of them sitting in my office, but you can't pass it up for six bucks. And if I did want to sell these, they're actually selling for $19, so I'd make a little bit of money. You want to take any comments? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take some comments. We'll take a little mini break. I'm going to read through some of these. Um, I'll shout some people out real quick. We got Ian Goldie, of course, in the house. We got Golden State Flip Flop, who's always here. We got Victorious A, uh, <laughs> Vincent Delaria, New to You, CT. That's me. <laughs> That's, me. That's me. Really? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. What? That's crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah. G. Jasso, Veronica, Thrifty Treasures is here, Pamela Lynn, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Okay, cool. So, oh, A26 Junior, what's going on, dude? Thumbs going down. Let's see. Uh, Socially Not Failure says you can call him a big bag of suck. All right. So, Tiffany C is asking, how long have you been, have you all been resellers, if I may ask? How long have you been a reseller? Full time. Full time. One year. Now, uh, forever. Almost exactly a year, actually. Really? Now, I've been, but I've been selling on eBay for about, well, I've been a reseller for about four years, but I've been yeah. on eBay one. Oh, sh yeah. So about okay. 15 to 16 years. All right. I, I'm That's quite the quite the length. Yeah. I, I'm I'm in about the same the same boat as as Greg. I've been full time for about a year. I've uh, been a reseller for about four, and but I've been selling on eBay for as mm -hmm. long as I can remember. And I I've been full time for longer than both of you guys, probably over two years, I'd say. So. Yeah, over two years, uh, part time for about four years, and um, I had sold, I think, one thing on eBay my entire life before then, and uh, I didn't understand how the PayPal worked, so I never shipped the person the thing, and uh, I thought I didn't get my money. I didn't know how it works, so that was my, and I, I got that account banned, and I was so young. I had no idea what I was doing, and um, yeah, that's how I started, so I've been doing it the shortest amount of time, but I've been full-time longer, so I just picked up on it, I guess. I don't know. All right. Uh, Brandon says Bolo, Willis, and Geiger. Geiger. I, I've heard of that. Geiger, yeah. 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 I, I've along actually never seen along, along the same lines as like a C.C. Philson. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah Willis and Geiger. Really what about C.E. Schmidt? You see that? I see that. I see that. It's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay, I didn't think so. Um, I think that's like a tractor supply brand or something. Pimla Lynn asks if we clean all of our shoes. Occasionally I will. You will? Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll wash them or brush them off, but I, I won't go like quite in depth to uh, shining them or, or polishing them or anything like that. Yeah, I just, I kind of just knock, if there's dirt on the soles, I'll knock the dirt off. Maybe use a, a wet wipe, like those uh, Clorox wet wipes or whatever they are, and just wipe the bottom of them and maybe around the, the toe and stuff if it's rubber. Uh, that's all I'll really do. Let's see. Uh, Ian Goldie says, wait, Tim, who are you? Um, he's, uh, new to UCT. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, Mark Admex says he found a brand new Bob TV at a garage sale on Saturday. What are they going for a brand Bob new? Bob TV? Yeah. Like a TV with it? I'm probably just the unit. Oh. Do you know what they're going for, dude? No, but over a hundred. Over a hundred. So that's a solid find, dude. Yeah. I bet you paid less than five bucks, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, socially in that failure says it's pretty risky not to wash uh, clothing. Uh, she, they, they, they were asking, I, I did, did see this comment earlier, yeah. they were asking if we washed our clothing. I personally don't, unless I see some kind of stain or dirt spot or something like that, then I'll, I'll treat it and, yeah. and wash it. But other than that, no, almost anybody who's buying these are buying them as used clothing. They're going to wash them as soon as they get them. Yeah, every time I buy some piece of clothing, I need to wash it right before yeah. I put it on. Unless you do a load of laundry in. Once a week. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Everyone does. Sometimes more than so, that, So, I mean, yeah. if you have one or two pieces of clothing that gets to your house without, maybe you miss something, just throw it in the wash. If, if that's what it takes, exactly. that's what you do. It's not a big deal. And but hundred, normally, do you guys wa wash them when you bring, when you bring them back? No. No, no never. I, I think I've maybe washed. If, if they come back with stains, yeah. Um, but if it's just sure. any of these shirts, if they all look good, I'm not going to wash a single one. No. No, I don't, I don't, it's going to waste my time. It wastes my money. It wastes everything. 
I just don't do it. Um, let's see. Plus, when you when you wash stuff, a lot of people have either uh, allergies or they're sensitive to some type of mm -hmm. smell or, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, and you can actually wind up getting a negative or a return just because of the, the scent that's in your soap. Uh, so Victoria's A is asking, how do you look up clothes, as in how do you find out what it's worth? Like usually for products, you could scan a barcode, but how does that work for clothes? So with clothes, you kind of just have to do your research on eBay, watch YouTube videos, and then you start to pick up on the brands. Right. And then you just remember the brands. Check the completed listings. Before. Check the completed listings on eBay while you're at... Jeez, you, know, you are like, you are loud, so I'm sure everybody can hear you. Do you want to be in the video? Is that what's up? Here. Uh, sometimes through. sometimes you may not be able to find the exact exact item that you're looking for, but just, just something comparable. That's why they call them comps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty much how we do it. Uh, let's uh, go through another uh, bag or so. Okay, I got one. This one is awesome. This one is an amazing find. It's, that's not, pretty cool it's not a crazy amount of money, but just the, in the rarity of it all, um, an LLB T-Snap. Looks like a Patagonia, very, very comparable to a uh, Patagonia T-Snap. And um, I only paid $10 for it. But the pattern on this will definitely sell itself. Just a nice uh, winter pattern with uh, snowflakes, gingerbread houses, and looks like skiers and snowmen. Yeah. Dude, I'm pretty awesome. happy with that. I've never seen anything quite, quite like either. that. Yeah. Um, this, one, this was a mountain hardware. I did. End, I didn't end up picking this. One. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. It's wool, right? It's a wool blend. Yeah, but it's, it has the feel of wool. No, Sophia. Mountain Hardware, and it does have the logo on the sleeve. This is a Dream Machine from Sony. It was going, I was, I was going to profit about $29 on it. I like to pick these up when I can. This one's pretty clean. So Pay eight bucks it. for it. Like I said, going to profit around, I think, 19 or 29 what I just said. This was a Dr. Seuss. Believe it or not, it had a higher rank than we would all think. I paid eight dollars for it. Had it had a rank of about four hundred thousand, I believe, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's that's but, actually really high surprisingly. Yeah, but when it does sell, I'll, I should profit right around ten to twenty on it. So just stole my spot. So oh, so you know, going to the doghouse. She she joined the video with us. Yeah, uh, yep. She really wanted to. You can tell. Ah, She's good. a YouTube sensation. Mm-hmm. Just a T-shirt. This is a really nice pattern. Ford, Ford T-shirt. Uh, this one is a brand I don't know how to pronounce. Luciano Visconti, I believe. There's two of them. I'm gonna lot them, lot them both together. I got them both for 4.99 or 5.99. I'm getting beat up. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. Hey, that's what I got. You guys want to go? Uh, yeah. Uh, this one will just be quick. We got a uh, sealed. Uh, Clint Eastwood, The Man With No Name Trilogy. Uh, it was going for, uh, I think, about $18 on eBay, and I'm not sure what it was going for on, uh, on Amazon. Or, dead, yeah. right, or my phone was dead, so I don't even know if it's restricted. And these were the other find of... Um, hey, those were great finds. Of uh, the, the expensive savers. They were $349, and they are uh, Chaco's Men's Sandals. And I never found them. This was my very first pair, so we'll see how they do. I've never found them either. They seem, they look like they're going for around 40 to $50, so, I mean, I'd price them around 50 bucks and see what happens. But, okay, um, I have an interesting bag right here. In it, we have these Astro Jacks, and I tried to scan it in, nothing came up. So, sometimes you just have to type it in. So, I just typed in Astro Jacks, and the exact same thing came up with a good rank. Uh, I paid two bucks. They're going for more than that. I don't remember what. Now, this was something that Tim passed on. It was the Casio uh, disc title printer. Not 100% sure. Uh, $60, but it was half off, so it was only 30 bucks. Now, this is brand new, but the box is damaged, which is kind of an issue. But brand new, what was it going for? Like $280, which is ridiculous. Um, will I sell it as new? Only time will tell. But 
we'll, we'll really have to see what's going to happen there because the box is highly damaged, but because it's such an old item, um, I feel like somebody would kind of, ex ah, now there's a hole in the back, <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like somebody buying this would kind of expect it. This looks like it's from the 90s, maybe the, maybe the early 2000s, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what I end up doing there. And then, um, I already went through this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I go through that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a uh, just a t-shirt from, uh, it's a brand called The Mountain. They make a lot of strange uh, animal prints. This one is a, what is this, a tiger and some fairies. I think it's a woman's <laughs> shirt. I don't know. It was only $2, so I decided to, to give it a shot. Uh, this was, oh, these were cool finds. These are our uh, Apple, I believe they're employee uh, t-shirts. Uh, from what we could find on, on eBay, they were going for like 30 or 40 bucks just for the, just for these t-shirts. And they were also half off, so they were two bucks. And I got two of those. Uh, this was a uh, Adidas tri, uh, was it tri, trifoil uh, t-shirt. This was actually for myself. I don't know what was in there. This... Oh, well, that's <laughs> yeah. This is a giant... Uh, Patriots uh, Seymour jersey. What's a uh, Richard name? Richard, Richard Seymour, yeah. and it is a size six XL. It is massive. It's huge. It's absolutely. We'll huge. see if it sells this season. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then this I, was another six XL. <laughs> uh, got Mario Mario shirt, but it was uh, brand new. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens with those. This thrift store had. Probably close to 20, maybe 15, 6XL, 6XL, 7XL shirts. That's where I got those, uh, the Seattle Wisconsin shirts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, oh, did you already show those? I did, and they were too Yeah, oh, right. They, I didn't know they, that they, they were huge. They were that huge. big, but they were big. They were like 2X, right? 3X? Uh, 2X, 2X. Yeah, they, they were big. I mean, they, there were a lot of big clothes at this uh, as well. A, a yeah. lot of them, a lot of them were sports clothing. Somebody must have donated pretty much their whole wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't even look at the pants there, did we? None of us did. No. Uh, a lot of us didn't really look out. at pants anyway. I never look at pants. I always pass up pants. All right, so right here, I got a little bag, and I actually have some clothing in here. I'm surprised. So I picked up a puzzle, uh, $2. Of course, guys, I scan every puzzle. Every puzzle is worth it if it's new. So not too bad there. I don't, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> like, it's worth it. We, we scanned too much. We looked up too much. Today. I would say, I feel like this was a $60 one. That was the one you had just shown me, like, less than an hour and a half. No, ago. that's the one that had the damage. This one also was going for, like, 60 oh, yeah. The other one was over 80 Same brand? Uh, same brand, yeah. White Mountain Puzzles. Yeah. 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 Okay. Maybe it's a really good puzzle company. I don't know. I've never really thought about that. Uh, Fisher Snack Pot, $5. Had a rank of 120000 in maybe. Yeah. And I, I think that's an all right rank. I have no idea. Um, but we'll see. $5. It was going for 30 something I think. Uh, classic Waterworks. It's a card game. Two dollars, not gonna make a lot on it, but gonna make some money. And then the uh, almost the clothing, a CD, fifty cents, whatever. All right, now some clothing. I got one thing for myself for two bucks. It's a Dolphins Patriots rivalry shirt. It's just really cool. I'll wear it um, when the Dolphins and Patriots play this year. Um, and I also picked up my favorite brand ever, Peter Millar Summer Comfort, and this is a nice green. Uh, I find this this color green actually does really well. What did that guy say, by the way, when? Like, oh, I found his favorite brand. And I was like, Peter Millar. And you're like, oh, oh, oh. oh, he's like, not gonna lie. I love that too. <laughs> and then he was just like, I uh, was just doing weird shit. I don't know. Uh, and it says Travelers yeah. Championships on the uh, championship on the sleeve, which is cool. You want little embellish embellishments like that with your golf shirts. I feel like the more plain they are, with like without advertising and stuff, the less likely someone is to buy it. I, I think that's a little bit more rare than one without a logo. A little bit. Yeah, well, yeah, I feel like. Distinctive. Yeah, it's distinctive. People are willing to spend more money on that, and I like that, and I like when people spend more money. It makes me happy. And then in this bag, we have some Legos. I picked up, this was twelve ninety five. I wish I had my phone on me so I could look up these prices. I don't even know where my phone is. Um, here we go. Cool. So I'll be able to scan these in for you guys real quick so we could actually see. Wow, I have 1% battery. We'll see what happens. Um, for twelve ninety five. This Lego set right here, and it was actually right behind the counter, right as I was about to check out, right about to leave, and luckily, I looked it up. This guy's going for $43.95 over on Amazon, so not too bad there. 
And then this other Lego set, which I can't scan. Oh, I can't. Uh, ben 10. Holy crap, dude. The price just jumped. What did I say this was going for earlier? It was like 80 90 bucks. 90 bucks? Yeah. The $90 one sold. And, oh, no, because a different thing came up. Okay, never mind. Dude, <laughs> I, th I thought I was about to make bank. It was at 160 but a different Lego set came up. Um, so this one right here is, oh, price went down. No, it's the same. Ninety dollars. <laughs> so ninety bucks, seventy-three dollars after fees. I pay ten, so sixty-three dollars after fees. Not too bad. And then I got three games for two bucks a piece. And uh, these games are honestly like not even really worth it. I just grab them. Uh, Pursuit Force. I'll break even. Prince of Persia. I'll make a dollar. And Ghost in the Shell. I'll make about three dollars. So I just grabbed them. I figure you people know, always pick up PSP games. Why is that? What people even say, ever since I've met you, I've always yeah. played PSP games. I just have a thing for PSP games. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I honestly don't know. I I figured uh, Ghost in the Shell would be worth some money because it's an anime. I didn't even look them up when I was there. I just kind of bought them. Um, Pursuit Force, it's the second one, so there's multiples of these. The second one is worth like twenty something dollars, not the first one. I was just mistaken. And I just grabbed this one because it was also there. Um, but I, I also think that around Christmas time, these will jump, but the only thing with PSP games are they're always higher ranked. Mm -hmm. So they are going to sit a while. I just enjoy picking them up for some reason, so I just pick them up. They're not the most valuable things to pick up, so I actually really wouldn't recommend it. The systems, though, the systems sell pretty well, and they sell pretty quick. Yeah. Um, I just have these two things real quick. Okay. I think these are the last two things that I have. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I don't even know what this is. It's some kind of uh, audio mixer or something like that. I don't know. I looked up the model number. It was thirty dollars half off, so it was fifteen bucks. And I want to say it was going for about seventy. Yeah, which that's awesome. And then this is a Krups. Um, what do they even call this? Uh, the Brewmaster. The Brewmaster. It's a. Uh, it's basically just a. a, a no, bag. it's called the beer tender. The beer, beer tender. tender. It was. Uh, it was twenty five bucks, and they go for. Uh, on Amazon FBA, I believe they go for almost two hundred dollars. That's freaking crazy. And I'm not sure about uh, about eBay. They are big. They are hard to ship, but it's worth it. All right. I think the rest is yours. Yes. And then in these bags, I picked up a couple Chia Pets. I always pick up Chia Pets. We got Chia Trolls. These are only two bucks a piece. They sell for about fifteen a piece. And Chia Emoji. And then a Bop It. For some reason, this one's not restricted, which is awesome. Two dollars selling for eighteen. So I'll end up making about ten bucks there, which hey, ten bucks is ten bucks. The thing that sucks with Bop It's is you have to bubble wrap them and do more work for your ten dollars than you know just throwing something in a box. And I'm lazy, so I don't really like doing it, but you know, it is what it is. F this. And uh, right here we have a brand new sealed uh, Play-Doh set, right? It was three dollars going for like twenty-eight, which that seems kind of high, but whatever. This was a puzzle. This is Terry something. Uh, Terry Redlin. It's the White Mountain Puzzles collection again. This one was going for $84 used, but I think people are just jacking up the price because the rate's around $700,000. Um, I looked on Camel, Camel, Camel. I think realistically I'll get $25. Mine is brand new technically, but the box has some damage, so that's an issue. And then I got some clothing. I picked up, uh, what do we have here? A brand new with tags. Foot Joy golf polo, and it has some pilgrims on the front, so that's pretty cool. It's gonna sell so uh, oh mm -hmm. yeah, dude! I paid uh, four bucks for that, and then I picked up another Foot Joy polo. This one's just green and white stripes, and it says Men's Member Guest 1889 on the chest. Four bucks for that, and then I picked up another Foot Joy polo for four bucks, and this one's just plain. It has nothing on it, nothing on the sleeves either. So we'll see which one sells first. I'll list all three at the exact same time. Yeah. And whichever one sells first, it's going to be interesting. Now, it's going to be hard to compare because I'll price these two the same, probably around 30 And then this one I'll price higher because it's new with tags. That has an MSRP of like $69, isn't it? Uh, MSR, I think that's a clearance tag. That's a clearance tag of $70. Wow. So I'll, I'll probably price this around uh, $70 and take that tag off. Mm -hmm. uh, or I might just leave that tag on there and price it at $60. So, I, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll leave that tag on there, price this around $60. And then I'll price these guys at around 30. So, so I'll put best offer on this because I would take 40. You would? Yeah. I don't know. I've never sold for Joyce. So maybe maybe I'll just wait and see what happens. 
So I, I've never thought Butch Crew was money, so I still can't say I know for a fact because I've yet to sell it. But we'll see what happens. I think that's everything. Oh, the black bags, guys. Oh, the Get black bags. Like this thrift store was crazy. Uh, there was one lady in there. Just to have yeah, there was. Her. Oh, yeah, you tell, you tell <laughs> them the story. There was a lady in there. She wanted everyone to give her a dollar. She wanted to buy a pair of shoes. She wanted to see the smell of her. Literally. She I, said, everyone, everyone thinks I stink. Do I stink? Jesse, smell me. He I, said, Jesse, she didn't know you, but yeah. can you smell me? And I did. <laughs> and, and she. What? And did she? She didn't smell like anything. She, like, anything. she didn't smell like Dove, though. She said, she's like, oh, this is Dove. This is good. I smell good. I don't get why people say I smell bad. That's so mean. Why would people yeah. say I smell? Is this yours? That's yours. Yeah. It was just, it was really weird. I don't, I smelled her, though. She must have been high on drugs. She, she was high on something, dude. She was messed up. But, but I think uh, that people in the thrift store knew her because they were like, don't bother. Don't bother. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't bother with her, I should say. Yeah. Um, but I still, I obliged and I smelled her. And uh, it was interesting. That's a big one. So I'm going to show you. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Carson, best of uh, volume one and three, one through three. And um, brand new seal that should go for about like anywhere between 15 and $18. Pretty awesome. Yeah. And then I ones. picked up seven of these notebook risers by 3M. They were 20 bucks a piece. Now, now that I think about it, I really should have been like, hey, I'll buy them all for like 15 bucks a piece. Probably. Um, but the only reason why I didn't do that is I only saw three in the very beginning, so I bought three. Then I saw another, so I bought that. And as I was ringing out, I ended up seeing three more, and she had already rung out half, so I wasn't gonna be like, well, now give me a discount. She knew I wanted them, so it was too late. So I just took them at 20 bucks a piece. I think I, I was gonna pop at $37 a piece. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna make $37 per unit yes, and the only thing is they wrote with sharpie right on them twenty dollars so i'm gonna have to figure out how to get that off take a nice yeah. marker just like circle it and then, just and then it wipe off. it off yeah, it i hear that works in nail polish uh, not, not magic marker uh, dry erase dry erase yeah, yeah. That, that might work too but i've, I've done magic marker. I've, I've done dry erase but also nail polish remover gets this off the only thing with nail polish remover is it could damage the box really yeah. easily right right so i'll try i'll try both and uh Honestly, if the box gets a little water damage right there, I'll still sell these as new. I don't care. So it's just a little bit of a uh, little bit of damage. I mean, I hope they're new. They seem new. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they're new. <laughs> they're new. Um, and then in the other bag, I did get a few other things. Uh, I just got CDs. I just got some CDs, uh, and then the other ones of these. Um, so it's it's pretty freaking it's packed in here, guys. We, we filled the car today. Oh, yeah, we, we filled, the filled the car, and uh, it was in, it was intense. I I had a good time though. We were out from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. pretty yeah, much all day. Yeah, all day. We do have a, we do have one question from Mark Adamac. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had any success with online arbitrage? Oh yeah, all the time, all the time. eBay to Amazon, Amazon to Amazon. Other websites to Amazon, right. pretty much anything to Amazon. Mercari to Amazon and eBay. Um, and there was one video game that I showed Jesse this morning. I asked him to clean it, but I, I buy it for like fifty dollars on eBay when it's available, fifty five maybe, and then I sell it for about one hundred fifty five on Amazon. So that's that's the only one I really do. There, there's a few games that have such a big price discrepancy. Same thing with uh, CDs. Yeah. Same thing with uh, you know random products will be thirty bucks on eBay, but 90 on Amazon for some weird reason and if you could find these random products you could just be the only one that knows about it and just buy it every single time set an alert um, if this then that yeah, they yeah. make alerts each time it gets listed on eBay for the price that you're looking for or what the best offer you just snag it up send it right into Amazon every single time that, that I mean yeah. it's definitely a viable business method a lot of people do that I'll let you do this one because I know that you just did a video on it all right uh, Tiffany C says does anyone live in a small town like I do and do this full time, paying all of your bills? I want my husband to quit his job and start helping me, but I know we can do this all locally. Um, oh, but you know we cannot do this all locally. Okay, so I would say, so these guys came with me today. You see where I live. Right. I have one thrift store here, and then the next closest one was about half hour, half hour away. Yeah, half hour. So. I wouldn't call where I live a small town, but it's small enough, and there's only one thrift store. There's no pawn shops, nothing like that. So, there's not even a church thrift store. There's literally just one Goodwill where I live. 
and then to get to the next one will be 30 minutes at least. So I don't know exactly how far away you live from the next town over. Maybe you live in the middle of Kansas, so you're two hours away. I don't know. Um, but for me, I'm able to do everything by myself. I, I pay all my own bills. I do all that. And I, and I, I live in a, in a pretty small area. So I definitely think it's possible to do. You got to hustle harder. So you can't just think about going to thrift stores. I do online arbitrage. I do retail arbitrage. I find local flips to go to tag sales, things like that. So you have to do all of these extra things where people that live in uh, Houston or Austin can just swing down one strip and hit eight Goodwills and five pawn shops and be done. Mm -hmm. For me, I got to drive, you know, five hours round trip just to hit up what they can hit up in five minutes. Mm -hmm. And I, I see that a lot, but it's, it's possible. It's just going to be more work. Very possible. And you've been doing it for a while. So if you were I've been new, doing it for years. It'd be, it'd be much difficult. And much what? more. Yeah, I said if you were new, it'd be oh, much yeah. more difficult to do it in a small it town. But you can't do it. It takes years because you have to start learning brands. Mm -hmm. And you have to branch out. Like, I didn't do clothing at all for the first over year. We didn't even touch it. Mm -hmm. Did not touch clothing. And now that I also touch clothing, I mean, I make twice as much money now. It's just... But it's tough. When you're by yourself, I know you said you want your husband to do it with you, and I would highly recommend trying to get him to do it with you because it is not easy by yourself. It's, uh... So he wants to see your dog. Oh, yeah? <laughs> there she is. Actually, we have... We have more, or did you just come from this over here? I I don't remember. We might have more stuff, guys. We have a no, lot. no, you, we got, we got. Oh, we got everything. everything. Cool. Yeah. That's good because we got a lot. I don't even know. I honestly don't know what to do with all this. I'm gonna test out this iPod speaker. I was thinking about sending it into FBA, but I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Wait, send, send it into FBA and take a picture of the serial number and put it put it on the on the listing, or yeah. or add the serial number to. The, 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 so, yeah, the condition. Yeah, the condition, yeah. and I'm, I'm definitely going to take pictures of it and post it on, uh, the thing that I noticed was brand new on Amazon, they go for like $1,400. I've never seen brand new. I, I haven't seen, seen one on eBay brand new. Um, but on Amazon, $1,400 brand new, used 218 But I noticed that the used price at 218 was the sole fba -er, but there's still three more people selling so that FBA is undercutting for some unknown reason. I don't know why he would do that. Unless his is in rough shape without the face plate. Mm -hmm. That would make sense. I, is but why would he be a remote, remote though? That's uh, supposed to be a remote. Right, so maybe, um, he might not have the remote. Right. Maybe everyone else does. But I have never seen somebody selling one with a remote. But I've also never looked. So when I was on eBay, every single one said no remote, no remote, no remote, no remote. So I, I didn't know there was supposed to be a remote. Um, yeah, because once you plug your phone in, you can just control it right from your phone. I don't know why you would need a remote. I have no idea. I don't, I don't, I don't. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Take electronics like that. So, usually. any more questions? I don't see any. All right, guys. So, I think that's good. We've been on for a while. Does it say how long? No, Probably not. We've been on for a long time, guys. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, thumbs up, give like, it a comment, thumbs up. subscribe. All those good things. Check out Greg the Ballet Picker over on his channel, and you guys see me on Greg's channel. Dip School, link down below. And Tim Fisk, he... I've got no YouTube channel. No, <laughs> no. It's a hell of a good but he lives right in this beautiful home. I'll give you his address if you want. <laughs> Just let me know down below in the comments. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye, guys. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad ending. Oh, no, we're still live on mine, too. Bye, guys.